guys, this is Anna Skye, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this awesome DIY vintage hanky invitation. If you're looking for something different, something vintage, something everyone's going to remember, this is it. It's actual cotton fabric that you print on. It's the coolest thing since sliced bread. And you can make a foldable, bendable, paperless wedding invitation. Stay tuned to learn how. To make this project, you're going to need this photo fabric paper. I have a link to where you buy this on Amazon. It is the cotton poplin roll and it's eight and a half by a hundred inches. And it's just a roll of fabric that's mounted to wax paper so that you can print on it. It's the coolest stuff ever. And you're gonna need our printable template, which is a Microsoft Word file. You can personalize the wording, and there's a link to this in the description of the video. A ruler, this is a um, pinking shear rotary cutter. You can pick this up at any sewing store. A cutting mat, mat to protect your table service, and a pencil. So now that we have all our stuff, let's get started. So the key ingredient in this project is the photo fabric. And I bought this on Amazon and it's called the Cotton Poplin Photo Fabric. And I've linked to it in the description. It comes in an eight and a half by a hundred inch roll. And it looks like this. And it's sort of cotton on this side and a wax paper on the other side. So what we need to do is to cut it down to 11 inches since that, since that is the standard size for most home printers. And I'm going to use my ruler on my cutting mat. And so that's um, 11 inches. Well, I think I'll go this way. So there's my 11 inch line from 0 to 11. And I'm just going to line my fabric roll up there. And then I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to come up here to the end. And I'm going to make a line. So we're essentially taking the roll and cutting it into 11 inch strips so that we can feed it just like we would paper in the printer. And I'm just going to take my scissors and it cuts really easily. So, and then you're going to repeat this process cutting, you know, the whole roll into 11 inch strips. So I'm over at my printer and I wanted to show you a trick. Here is the fabric paper and it has a tendency to want to curl back against the wax paper. And I find that if I just real gently roll it the opposite direction, that will help it grab the fabric better. And then if I place uh, some blank sheets of paper, I'm not going to print on these behind my fabric as opposed to just putting the fabric in on its own. And what you want is you want those little clips. You want the fabric behind those clips, but pushed up snug, those little white feeder clips. And this is on the uh, Epson printer. I'm using the 1430, but any of the inkjet printers will work for this. So now that we have our fabric paper in, let's go ahead and print it out. So here I have the template for the hanky opened up in Microsoft Word. And adding your name is just as simple as editing this text box. So just like any Microsoft Word file, you simply highlight and I could type in Anna Marie Sky. And today I'm gonna marry Bradley Cooper and then you can change the date to say June and you get the idea. You can also um, add and remove lines of text so if you need like a another area here like let's say you wanted to add a street address you can just click make a carriage return and type in an address so it's very flexible so it meets your needs. And so once you have the template 
all typed up with your wording, you're going to go ahead and go up here to File, Print, and it will preview your document here, and you're going to hit Print. And what I like about this technique is it's printing directly onto the fabric. So this is an iron-on, it's, it's going to look like it's actual fabric that you've had custom made for your project. And so there it is, all printed out on the fabric. So as you're getting ready to finish your hanky, the first step is to peel off the wax paper and that was only needed to get it to go through the printer and so when you separate the backer from the hanky you'll see now it's really starting to come together it's like fabric now and you have a couple of options you know if you're uh, sewy you could go ahead and do like a rolled hem on this or if you had a serger machine you could serge the edge I really think it's fast and inexpensive to use a pinking shear rotary cutter and a ruler. And what I do is I go ahead and line my ruler up and I keep it just a little bit away from the edge. So I'm not right on the edge of the white and the pink. I'm back maybe an eighth of an inch. And then I take my rotary cutter with the pinking blade installed and I just follow along the ruler and cut the fabric like so Oops. I guess I didn't push hard enough right there take a good pass like so so there's one edge and then go ahead and repeat the process on the other three sides. And I just love the way this project turned out. I am so excited to maybe do some more, more um, hanky templates using our other vintage designs because I was just so excited how this turned out. So, so there you have the hanky all trimmed out and let's bring in our matching address label template and it's on a five and a half inch square envelope. I'm using our coordinated envelope liner template and our reply card. And I'm just going to, this is a um, Star Dream gold envelope that I paired with it. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck those in to my envelope and then fold my little hanky invitation into quarters. Now you could you know, tie this with ribbon uh, there's lots of different ways you could present this, but I think just a cute square fold and tuck it in with the RSVP card like so, so it sticks out like that. And then you fold it close and now you have your wedding invitation that everyone is going to ooh and ah over when they open up and find out that you made a custom vintage hanky for your invitation. Hey, thanks for watching the tutorial. And if you've stuck around this long, you should know that we have matching address labels, envelope liners, RSVP cards, programs. Where's the program? Here's the program. Menus that all coordinate with the hanky design we just made in this video. And it also comes in two other color options, which is the lavender and the corn silk. So depending on the look you're going for, we hope we have a design that will work for you. And if not, please comment below 
and we design everything in house so we can make it in your colors. So you know, we're really here to help you make amazing handmade invitations. So if there's any way we can help you get there, please let us know. This is Anna Skye from Download and Print. Subscribe to my channel, get the links below. Have a good day.